This video is brought to you by ESR, but more on them later. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you've been watching my recent videos, you know I've made two big upgrades this year. The M4 iPad Pro and the M4 Mac Mini. And I've got to be honest, this setup might be the best balance I've ever had between power, portability, and creativity. So in today's video, I want to show you exactly how I use the iPad Pro as my everyday computer and how I balance it with the Mac Mini in my YouTube workflow, content planning, and personal life. If you're thinking about building your own Mac plus iPad combo or just wondering if the M4 iPad Pro is really good enough as a computer, well, this video is for you. But first, a quick word from today's sponsor. By itself, the iPad is just an iPad, but with a simple purchase of this ESR keyboard, you can upgrade your iPad to getting stuff done more by transforming it into a portable productivity machine and be ready to work whenever, wherever. So this is the ESR Rebound Magnetic Keyboard Case for the M4 iPad Pro 13 inch. It's ultra strong magnet seamlessly combined case and tablet to let you easily open the stand to perfect angle for typing or browsing. The detachable back case gives you full protection with instant access to your device and can be set up in ray screen view or portrait mode. And with the code MORRIS25 ANI, you can get 25% off this or any product you may like on the ESR website. Check out the link in description to get your 25% off with the code MORRIS25ANI. Let's start with the why. Well, I've used MacBooks for years, but they've always been a compromise between portability and performance. So now, instead of using one device for everything, I've split it into two machines that actually excel at their roles. My Mac Mini M4 is the beast. It's the brain of my studio. It handles all my video editing and everything that requires raw power. And it has a big screen with it. But my iPad M4, that's the portable personal side of my setup. For voiceovers, script writing on the go, it's what I carry around the house, take on trips and use when I want to work from a coffee shop or just get away from the desk. Now, let's talk about how I actually use the iPad Pro as a real computer. With the ESR keyboard, it feels like a laptop but it's more than that. You see, I use Notion for scripting and video ideas, CapCut for quick edits on the go, and then Lightroom for photos and Safari for research and managing my YouTube channel. And with iPad, OS 26 coming soon with its new window mode. Multitasking feels smoother and more like the Mac OS. Now, when it comes to serious editing, that's where the M4 Mac Mini really shines. I use CapCut and sometimes even GarageBand for voiceovers. It's just easier when I'm sitting at my desk. Plus, the Mac Mini is super silent, like it never makes a sound. And for something that handles 4K footages this easily as it does, that's super impressive. The M4 Mac Mini is also my main airdrop hub, backup machine, and handles things like compressing large files and uploading to YouTube. So here's a typical workflow for YouTube video. I'll usually start on the iPad Pro, usually in Notes or Notion, outlining or writing the script wherever I am comfortable. Once that's ready, I hop to the Mac Mini where I put the script into Notion again to fine edit and fine tuning. I'll then proceed to record my audio using GarageBand either through my iPad or the M4 Mac Mini. If I still need to tweak the script a bit more, I will use the sidecar 
car to extend my display to the iPad or just use the iPad as a secondary display to research some more while I'm writing the script on the Mac Mini. And with handoff and universal control, my hands never leave the keyboard and the mouse. I'll use the iPad again to review the edits because of the beautiful OLED screen. Reviewing my edits on the iPad, it just seems supernatural because the colors are just so vibrant and I can easily know how they're gonna look when they're posted on YouTube. The key thing here is that these two machines don't compete with each other. They actually complement each other. Now, one's more focused on power, the other is more focused on creativity and flexibility. If I'm traveling or even just heading to a coffee shop, I'll always bring the iPad Pro with me. Its life gets all day battery life and I can get surprisingly productive on it. But when I want to really lock in, edit a full video or handle more intensive work, the Mac mini is usually the way to go. And the cool part, once again, is that with a universal clipboard and iCloud, everything just stays in sync. I don't think about file management anymore. I just pick up where I actually left off. So do you need both? both the iPad Pro and a Mac Mini? Probably not. You could do almost everything on just one of them, depending on your needs, of course. But for someone like me making YouTube videos, managing a creative workflow and wanting flexibility, this combo is just perfect. The Mac Mini gives me studio level power and the iPad Pro gives me a freedom to work anywhere. It's not really about replacing your computer or laptop. It's about rethinking what your computer or laptop actually is. So if you're building your own Apple ecosystem and thinking about the iPad Pro or Mac Mini, I hope this video gives you some ideas. Leave a comment below. Are you using both or just one? Or are you still holding on to your MacBook Pro or MacBook Air? And if you're still unsure which one fits your life best, I'd love to help. Now, make sure to hit the like button and hey, maybe even subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.